Hello traders, FS Pickletti here. Today is Wednesday, January 17th, and this is my analysis on the US dollar yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the US dollar yen, I mean, we had a huge push down on the monthly, but it is recovering from that pretty well. I actually am a big believer, especially in looking at all JPY pairs, that this is going to go back up, most likely take out these highs. I do think at some point it may make a big, bigger move to the downside, but I think that for the most part, the trend is definitely still up and we should definitely still be looking for longs in an uptrend. Going down to the weekly is where you really have to notice is that it really never broke any structure to the downside on this move. And it definitely hasn't made a lower high as of yet. I mean, as you go down to sort of time frames, it definitely does lead you to believe that it could be an A, B, C, and it could go back down. But I am actually believing that this is not going to happen. I actually believe that this is more likely going to keep on going up, probably taking out these highs and continuing the uptrend. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, it looks like we're right at the 61.8. Maybe this will be a likely area for a pullback. This is for sure looking like a trend to me. I mean, I actually think that there may be a hidden ABC in here someplace. Like I was saying, I think this could already have made an ABC. It's just like an irregular ABC correction. And yeah, it may make a pullback, but I think it's more likely to just keep on going up. Now, what is going to change me from being a buyer to a seller is if I see this picture right here. Like a three, four, five shape with a break of structure at a Fibonacci level, either one of them, then that will definitely turn me into a seller. But until I see that picture, I am definitely looking for buys on shorter time frames. Going down to the four hour time frame, I mean, look how stretched out this last leg is. I mean, yeah, maybe it will pull, that pull back, especially because we are at a Fib level, but I think the trades that we need to be looking for, the trades with a higher probability of being high risk to reward entries, should be at the end of these pullbacks, just like these last couple ABC cretins. So I would definitely still primarily be looking for longs in an uptrend, unless you're trying to scalp counter trend moves on the very short time frames. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, price really doesn't have to pull back here. I mean, it is a likely area to see resistance, but I mean, it doesn't have to. I mean, it could just make a little correction and it could just keep on going up. So if you do decide to try to scalp to the short side on sort of time frames, definitely be cautious. Like I said, I hope it does go down. I hope it does make a proper ABC correction, because if it does make a proper ABC correction, then that's going to give us a really good opportunity to go long again, just like this ABC back here was a great opportunity to go long. So I am for sure going to continue to look for these longs at the end of ABC pullbacks, especially on these sort of time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.